I made a video last year titled The Hidden World of the Misanthrope, and I've decided to revisit my feelings towards the human race. Some people replied to that video stating that I was closed-minded and lack self-awareness, but I'd like to call bullshit on that. In 2018, I've tried my best to get on with people. I've done everything I can to be nice to them. I've tried to be accommodating. I've tried to be understanding. I've tried to be accepting. But ultimately, most people show little to no respect and end up looking out for themselves at the expense of others. Today, for example, I was supposed to be doing some marking for a uni course. The students have already handed their assignments in last Thursday night, so technically I should have started marking on Friday. However, the course lecturer has not provided me with the appropriate marking criteria sheets and solution documents, etc. I contacted him on Friday letting him know that I'm ready to mark, but he told me that he hadn't prepared the solution as yet, but would definitely have it done by Sunday, that is, yesterday. So I plan to have a full day of marking today. It is now Monday morning, and do you think he sent me the documents? Of course not. So that's another day wasted. By the way, I'm on the clock when it comes to marking. By university policy, I have only a certain amount of time to get it all done. The fact that I also work another job means that I don't have that many free days to mark. So when a free day like today is squandered, I get really pissed off. Another example. Yesterday we were supposed to meet a couple of Chinese families for a barbecue lunch in the park. My wife had arranged this with her friends. So we went out on Saturday and bought all the necessary food and drink. To share, mind you. What happened Saturday night? Of course, they cancelled. Did they care that we had already bought all the food? Of course not. I suppose it's not such a big deal in that we can use the food ourselves. But still, that's not the point. It's becoming far too common recently for people to show little regard for other people's precious time, at least with the people I deal with. Another example, three weeks ago, my friend and his wife invited my family to a barbecue lunch at their home on that Saturday. I decided not to buy any goods until the day before, only because I've come to expect people to cancel at the last minute. Lo and behold, he sent me a text message on the Friday morning saying that something came up and that he would have to postpone to the following Saturday. I did my best to stay nice and told him no worries and that I'd see him the following week. The next week came, and I thought to myself that there was no way that he would cancel again, so I went up on the Friday afternoon to buy the food and drink. But then my wife told me to wait until the following morning, that is, the morning of the barbecue. She had a bad feeling that he would cancel again. I disagreed with her, but I said, OK, we'll wait. Saturday morning came, and I got a phone call from my friend. He was very apologetic, and again said that something had come up. He didn't give me any other details apart from that. Again, I wasn't angry, I just said, no worries, I guess we can catch up some other time. He tried to postpone the barbecue again to the following Saturday, but I told him that I can't keep booking out my Saturdays. I mean, I've got other things to do. He understood, and said that he'd try to organise something again in the upcoming month. I made a promise to myself that day. I'm never going to arrange anything with him and his family again. He's the most unreliable person I have ever met. I've known him for about 25 years, and I've put up with this bullshit for about that long. I must be a glutton for punishment. As I said in my other video, I'm a misanthrope in plain sight. I won't get angry with him, but I'm not going to put up with it. I mean, I'm locking in my Saturday mornings to appease this guy who ends up not showing me any respect by keeping his damn appointments. I don't know how he maintains a job. Another example, which I've mentioned before in my other video, my Amazon Australian nightmare, involves my Bangladeshi friend who was supposed to be sending me my already paid for goods to the Amazon warehouse. He promised me that the goods would arrive on Tuesday last week. Did they arrive? Of course not. Just as a note, I originally ordered the goods on the 15th of March, so that's almost two months ago. Have I seen any of the items? No. Have I had any of my $519 returned? No. Will I see any of my money or any of my goods? I doubt it. I'd say he's punking me. He's probably already returned the goods, kept the money, and is going to blame the dodgy Bangladeshi carriers for my misfortune. I really don't know what's going on, but whatever it is, he's been the worst business associate I've ever had. And to think that we've been friends for almost 10 years now. You can call me close-minded. You can say that I lack self-awareness, but that doesn't change the fact that so many people in my life lack respect. I see it day in and day out. People treat each other badly. People lie to get out of doing stuff. People make up bullshit to make it look like that they're not at fault. In general, people are selfish and only look out for themselves. 
Sure, there are some good people out there, but I certainly don't know any of them. The only people I can trust in my life are my family. Everyone else has caused me nothing but suffering. I've been nice, I've played fairly, I help out people in need. What do I get in return? Nothing. I get people conning me and feeding me bullshit. I'm right to be a misanthrope. <laughs>